we are actually going to be playing the final zone. I'm, I'm severely worried about my ability to live. But anyway, the way to the end has opened. As you can see, um, we can, in fact, leverage the fact that I've got no more rings. We could also... We could also nearly leverage the fact that I'm dead. We could leverage that fact too. Hmm. You know, I was about to say I'm grateful that, unlike the original games, I can actually play this level with rings, but then I lost my rings. Thank god I've got some more though. Um... Oh, do we go. So we're pretty much back to where we were up to now. Tails giving me a lift there for no other reason but to say, hey Sonic, I helped. Uh, you could have got some rings for me there, bud. I mean, if you really wanted to help me. We're back in this room now. Um, come on, no rings? There are no rings. Oh no, that, that that's unfortunate. It's okay, because we know how to avoid. We know how to avoid Ninja Bot. Come on, Sonic, do not do this to me now. Hallelujah! Ah! Me and my big fat mouth. I might be here a while, actually, guys. Oh no! I know. I need the. Ri oh. <laughs> oh no! I'm pretty much doomed. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Uh, I, I'm, I, I literally cannot do anything. Okay, got him. This is gonna be the perfect run. We're not gonna get hit or anything. Ah! I mean, what did I expect? Okay, I've got the rings this time, guys. We might actually, you know, we might actually get further than one hit. Okay. Come on, then. I think they're shield enough. Will it break? I've never tried that strategy. Probably because it's uh, not really a strategy. Okay, got one. Hit. Tails, you could have done the second one. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed. Okay, yes. That's two hits in the first phase. Okay. Back to security part. It's gonna happen. It is, it is gonna happen. Um, we are gonna, we're gonna win this. Um, I think I damaged it. I'm not exactly sure if you can actually kill the uh, enemies. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say no. Because the boss ends when you defeat this guy. It doesn't end when you defeat the heavies. You know, we might get rid of one of the coils one of these days. Okay. There we go. Okay. Our boss just got a little bit easier. We're going to go into the next phase, though. Which is, um, heavy, the, 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 the robot, oh, oh no, no, I, I need a ring, thank you. I was not going to be happy if we did not get a ring. Tails, how did you die? There's literally nothing there. Like seriously, how did you die? Oh god. Okay. Okay. Now we can actually... I was going to say hide over here and hit him a few times, but clearly that's not how you play this game. <laughs> oh no. Okay. No. Get the ring. Get the ring. Get the ring. Okay. This is actually good. We've survived longer than we have before. So now we, uh, we have the magician. Okay. Wow. Alright. That wasn't very clear, but basically I think 
he hides in one of the cups because he's a magician. And then the one that he hides in is actually the one that is not gonna get blasted with arcane power or, you know, whatever it's blasted with. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay. So we're going into the fourth phase. Which, if I recall, is actually a race against, yes, the motorcycle guy. Not 100% certain what kind of race it is. It's one of those ones. Let's not. Let's not uh, die. We've got rings, so it's very possible that we might actually beat this today. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I think we go back to phase one. I don't think there's a phase five. Yep, yeah, we go back to phase one. And, uh, you know, I've never actually spent so long on this final boss. But you know what? We've we've nearly we've nearly got there. We've nearly got there. Very nearly have we got there. There we go. Finally. Hold up. We use the seven Chaos Emeralds and we become Super Sonic. And our desire is to basically get the Phantom Ruby out of the hands of Dr. Eggman and the other guy. <laughs> I, I am quite good at names. So the idea between this one is that you want to keep getting rings, which you will, you will be able to periodically get in this little Phantom Dimension. And um, this is actually called the the Egg Reverie Reverie. Re 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 um, it's essentially a sort of dream dimension that has been created by the Phantom Ruby, and now Doctor Eggman's own creation is trying to seal it off Doctor Eggman, which is n never good. Um, yeah, Doctor Eggman's have uh, create creatures have a habit of um you know, betraying their master. So Dr. Eggman has a nice little kickbox move. Um, whereas the other one's move is far more deadly, in which he, he, he shoots you balls of light that will get rid of 10 rings. And I'm not gonna lie, the first time I tried to beat this boss, uh, I failed. And I failed a few times. Not enough to game over, because by that point I'd actually had like 33 lives or something because I was that good at the game when it first came out. <laughs> um, that being said, I am somewhat struggling. Come on then. Okay. It's quite a it's quite a it's quite a sound final boss, even if it's even if it's more of a victory lap than it is um than it is a particularly challenging one. The perhaps the challenging part is trying to control Sonic. Oh, come on. No. Come back here. Oh, there you are. So if you hit the lights before he throws it at you, you actually don't lose rings. And there we go. We've defeated both Eggman and his own creation. And the Phantom Ruby reacts to the power of the Chaos Emeralds. And we are whisked away. But to where, I hear you ask. Oh, or maybe not, maybe don't care. Ooh, cutscene.
and there you have it. That was the final cutscene of the game. As for where Sonic ended up, um, he ended up in a far more subpar game, and I say this sadly as a Sonic fan, Sonic Forces, uh, which sort of forces me to be just a little bit cynical about the state of the Sonic franchise at the moment. But this was the it, this this was the best Sonic game that I reckon that we've had in years, which has probably got to say something. This game is definitely made for the fans. That's why throughout this throughout this um, let's play, I have been espousing all sorts of dude doodads and thing thingamabobs about Sega, the Sonic franchise, all the different references. It's it's definitely a game by the fans for the fans and. I mean, Christian Wrighthead and his team of developers, they smashed this one out of the park. So good. So good. That was the final part of Sonic Mania, one of my favourite Sonic games. And that is the end of the main portion of my Let's Play of Sonic Mania. So if you did enjoy, uh, you can press the like button, um, you can comment and you can subscribe if you're new and also share with people that you know um i just really love this game and it was very funny with me just constantly having a hard time with some of these levels which i, I swear i've not had issues with before um I, I may even do a compilation of fails i think that could be very funny at least for me to just look at on my own time and go wow I sucked but anyway that was me Christopher playing Sonic Mania and um, you know like comment subscribe share and um, thank you very much bye <laughs>